Hi, this is Jim Wright, and in this Post Builder lesson, we're going to get deeper into if statements. Our lesson plan is to talk more about the if command and, and give you another example of how it can be used inside of Post Builder. We'll also talk just a little bit about the info command. And finally, we'll try to clarify the difference between curly braces, square braces, and parentheses inside TCL. As a reminder, this lesson builds on a previous lesson. We created a post processor for a 3-axis mill and a Fanuc 6M control. So in this scenario, we would like to output the machining time at the end of each operation. So not only do I, would I like to know what the total time is at the end of the program, I would also like to know what the machining time is at the end of each operation. Let's get started. To speed things up a bit, I've already opened the custom command that we created earlier for machining time. I've also added a few items to the custom command, so let me go through that. First, I added a couple of extra commentary lines that indicate where to place the operation and to more fully describe what it does. Then, on the global statement, I added two more mom variables. We've seen these before. This is mom sys control in and mom sys control out. They're used at the beginning and at the end of messages. Then of course I I set CO equal to the value of mom sys control in and then I set CI to the value of mom sys control out. So I wouldn't have to spend so much typing when I was creating the messages. And then finally, I use the value of those new variables in the mom output literal statement. We've already got one if statement in here, so let's go through it very quickly. We set a variable called hours equal to the number of hours in mom machine time. Then we do a check on the value of hours. If it is greater than zero, then we output the estimated machining time in hours and minutes. But if it's not, the else statement, we simply output the estimated machining time in minutes. Any variable that you create within a custom command will cease to exist when that custom command is done, unless you declare it with the global command. So I need to add my new variable called operation time to the end of the list for the global command. Then at the end of the custom command I will set operation time equal to the value of mom machine time. Now the trick is how do I identify whether I can output the operation time for the second, third, fourth operations or if I can just output mom machine time for the first operation. So let's use the if statement to do that. If we'll use the command info. Remember we talked a little bit about this command in the previous lesson. Info is a very valuable command in TCL and Post Builder because it can save you from having errors output. So first I will check to see if the variable operation time exists. If info exists for operation time, then that means we have already gone through this custom command one time. So we've been through the end of one operation. And the reason I know that is because I'm actually setting operation time to the value of mom machine time after I ask the question. So the first time through this custom command, we will ask the question. It will not exist 
and so then we will do this procedure. From then on, operation time will exist and we will not perform this first procedure. Set current time to mom machine time minus operation time. So this will return to us the value of the present operation. Then we will output the operation time in minutes. If operation time does not exist, then the operation time and the total machining time are the same. So the next line will output the estimated machining time, which will be correct and accurate for both the first operation and the entire program at that point. I'll choose OK and we'll test this custom command. One final thing before I test this custom command I have to move it from the program end sequence to the operation end sequence. The easiest way to do that is to simply move it to the trash can here, click on the operation end sequence, and then search it out on the list here. I will place it at the end of path. Save the post. At the end of the first operation, we get the estimated machining time at two minutes. At the end of the second operation, we get the estimated operation time and the total machining time. I need to do some cleanup, removing the line numbers and putting in control in control out codes. But other than that, I'm in good shape. I've paused the recording so that it won't take so much time to make these changes. I've added mom set sequence off and mom set sequence on before and after my new custom command. And inside of the custom command, I added the control out and control in codes for the message. Now I have operation time and estimated machining time for each operation. One question that usually comes up is when should I use curly braces versus square braces versus parentheses? I've waited until this point in the lessons to 
tell you about them because we've now seen a usage for all three of them. Curly braces are typically used in if statements and procs, or what we call custom commands. Square braces are typically used when you're executing a command inside of another command. And parentheses are typically used as the nomenclature for a variable array. For example, mompaws0 and mompaws1. So to summarize this lesson, you learned a little bit more about if commands and when to use them. You also learned about the info command and you learned the difference between curly braces, square braces, and parentheses. Thanks for viewing. In our next lesson, we'll talk more about logic in TCL.